Hey guys, welcome back. Just a quick one before we uh, start in the Dragon Link livestream in a moment. Uh, we will get new Labyrinth support. This is the first time since a long time that we have now announced new cards for the Labyrinth archetype, which obviously just was completely released in Master Duel or at least um, to the point of completion that we had in the TCG as well as the OCG. But the next set that will come in the OCG and obviously will also come to us after that contains a new Labyrinth cards or at least this one new card that I have talked with you guys in the live stream about um, some like persons that you could see on existing Labyrinth cards and it seems to be the case that we will get at least one more card but let's first check out Arias the Labyrinth Butler. Keep in mind though this will take a while until we will get it in Master Duel presumably. So this is a level dark fiend monster, no surprise there. With an effect, no surprise there. Isa 1, 5 attack and 2, 5 defense. And uh, this card is really strong. You can only use the first and second effect of this card name once per turn. So both effects you can use once per turn. Firstly, during the main phase quick effect, always nice. This is your main phase and also your opponent's main phase. That is, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. So it works like a Stovi Torvi or a Chandra Glier that you can also send from field or from hand either special summon one labyrinth monster or set one normal trap it can be activated this turn so you could special summon one labyrinth monster so it's not really saying from where but i am guessing you can special summon from the hand right so not from the deck or from the graveyard but yeah not really sure on this one maybe there is some part of the um text missing here but i would guess from the hand so you could summon a lovely or a lady which is pretty nice or you could set a normal trap which obviously are the big welcome the welcome and other traps like your compulsory your daruma karma cannon your torrential tribute or i don't know dimensional barrier dogmatic punishment and it can be activated this turn so the crazy thing about this card is that this is basically a ku clock and a Stovi Torby or a Chandaglia in one because Chandaglia and the Stovi Torby they get you a trap onto the field and uh, the Kuklok activates the trap this turn or enables you to activate the uh, trap this turn but this card does it both in one card so with uh, like there is no additional cost to that so you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard but you don't have to send an additional card so it not not only does this card like put both cards Kuklok and Stovi Torby slash Chandraglia together in one card but also the costs are removed and then when your opponent activates a card or effect in response to the activation of a labyrinth card or effect except this guy here or of a normal trap card or effect and this card is in your graveyard you can special summon this which means you can use it again so if your opponent somehow reacts to a labyrinth card um, or a normal trap which is not that crazy uh, let's for example say you um, activate your welcome labyrinth and your opponent ashes the welcome labyrinth then this card in your graveyard could be special summoned thereby then again being able to use the first effect and once again get a new monster on the field or a new normal trap obviously the recycling part of this card here isn't that like great uh, in comparison with stobi torby and with chandra glia stobi torby and chandra glia uh, have a way easier condition to meet this is also fine i would say you will be able to recycle this um especially the first effect it's super strong so this is a real upgrade i guess you will play this three times in the deck over maybe the other furniture guys because this is just better this is plain better also the stats up quite nice so 2500 uh, defense when you special summon this uh, this can block a lot of attacks um, mainly for example bestials so really really strong here really cool support and as i already said we can assume that we will get more just a quick one really amazing card also i like the artwork definitely looking forward to this card but as i already said don't get your like hopes up too high this will take a while until we will get it in a master duel as this is not even out in the ocg and by the way i don't know about you guys but i think this thing here this little ghost or whatever it is it looks kind of like magnemite from pokemon i think <laughs> it's crazy but yeah new lemon support really amazing so you can invest in the deck now and be pretty sure or not pretty sure be totally sure that you will at least get one more support card that will really make the deck even stronger so it's a good investment uh, i talked about this uh, before but now it's an even better one so really interesting here that's it for now i hope we will see each other in the next one until then bye